It's a war on two worlds, the Earth and the Moon. The Earth, planet-sized as it is, is now too small to contain the rivalry of the world's most powerful nations. The next base of the U.S. military may therefore go to the Moon. SpaceX, the largest private space company on the planet, is already in the picture to make this possible. So the Moon, still a peaceful and quiet ball in the night sky, grows an arsenal that can strike targets on Earth from 240,000 miles away. Welcome to the era of a militarized moon. During the Cold War decades ago, the US military studied the potential for a lunar outpost as well as a lunar-based Earth bombardment system. They also looked at conducting nuclear tests on the moon and helped design the Clementine spacecraft that surveyed the moon in the 1990s. So this isn't the first time the US military is working towards some military activity on the moon, but this is the most intense it has ever been. The Space Force was created by the end of 2019. Since then, it's been space program after space program. The novel orbital and moon manufacturing materials and mass efficient design is one of such programs. Pursued by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. This program aims to study resources obtained from the moon's surface as they apply to future defense missions, and it could result in man-made structures built on the moon. Then there is the Defense Deep Space Sentinel Lunar Spy Satellite being tested by the Space Force and the Air Force Research Laboratory. The spy satellite will conduct reconnaissance around the moon, including spotting old spacecraft or other discarded components that could endanger future missions. The Air Force Research Laboratory is also working on a lunar surveillance system called the Cislunar Highway Patrol System. This system would reportedly extend America's reach to the far side of the moon. It's not all theoretical planning either. The funding is already flowing. In 2022, the government spending bill passed by Congress added $61 million for the military to pursue projects in spaces relating to the moon. More millions have since followed. All of these are in light of America's near-peer rivals making massive strides in their respective space and lunar missions, particularly China, which is already planning to go bring back pieces of the moon. According to some critical American voices, China cannot be trusted to pursue only peaceful aims and could use its space program for both economic and military advantage, including a new partnership with Russia to build a moon base. So the battle for the moon is indeed on. To come out on top, the U.S. military has partnered with formidable forces that know a thing or two about space and the moon. One of the most notable of these forces is none other than the legendary SpaceX. SpaceX is the largest space company in the world, and that comes at no surprise. After the world tried for eternity, SpaceX was the first to crack the tough nut of building reusable rockets. The company's Falcon 9 is a highly reliable yet low-cost space vehicle that has transported more items to space than any other thing on the planet. In fact, the vehicle sets a record every time it takes off from a launch pad. With all of these accolades to their name, SpaceX is most likely the route to go when any government body has some serious space-related activity to do. SpaceX was awarded around 40% of the U.S. Space Force's launch service contracts from 2020 through 2024. Just recently, SpaceX used its Falcon Heavy rocket to put the X-37B into a higher orbit than ever before. According to SpaceX, the Pentagon has also spoken to the company about procuring its own fleet of Starship rockets for sensitive missions. The Starship is a major groundbreaker for space travel. It is the heaviest, tallest, and most powerful space launch vehicle ever built. Such a machine would be a one to all kind of vehicle. It would be able to transport 100 tons of cargo to a faraway military base on the moon or a battlefield somewhere on Earth in a fraction of the time it would take the mighty C-17 Globemaster to do so. Compared to the Globemaster's 18 hours, the Starship would be able to reach anywhere on the planet within one hour. That should be impossible. In early 2022, the Air Force Research Laboratory awarded SpaceX a five-year, $102 million contract to collect flight data from the Starship rocket program in order to demonstrate technologies for point-to-point -point cargo and humanitarian aid transportation via the Starship. 
The Starship itself is estimated to cost SpaceX at least $5 billion to build and at least a million dollars every time it leaves the ground. Hefty numbers for a hefty ship with hefty responsibilities. In addition to swift intra-Earth journeys and helping build a military base on the moon, the Starship is universally recognized as the space vehicle to initiate the multi-planet status of humanity by getting us to Mars for the first time ever. All of these numbers, expectations, and hype forces anyone to ask the question, why is the Starship so special? Well, let's find out. The Starship is a towering vehicle made up of two main stages. The first is a mega rocket booster known as Super Heavy. The second stage is the payload carrying spacecraft itself, known as the Starship, a namesake with the full combined system. The first stage, Super Heavy, is powered by 33 Raptor engines, each one producing a thousand percent more power than the engine on an F-35 Lightning II. The 33 engines on the Super Heavy combine to produce an insane thrust of 16.7 million pound force. The second stage, Starship, sits atop Super Heavy and holds the payload to be transported to the destination. Both the Starship and Super Heavy are the largest of their respective class and combined, they are taller than the Statue of Liberty. With such huge size comes a massive capacity. The Starship can accommodate up to 100 people at a time for months complete with all the facilities to not just be comfortable but also be entertained. And that's not all. The system is fully and rapidly reusable, which is more than can be said about the next best thing. NASA's Space Launch System also under development. This is a massive plus over other types of space vehicles. Being reusable means major elements of the system, which are usually jaw-droppingly expensive, are not discarded in the sea or allowed to burn up. Instead, they land majestically on the ground, undergo maintenance, get refueled, and take off into the skies again. This greatly reduces costs and improves speed of operations in a way that makes regular space travel not so impossible anymore. Mars or the Moon could soon be the next street. This was billionaire Elon Musk's vision for the system right from the start. It is what the US military seems to need at these volatile times, and it is what NASA has been hoping to see for decades. In fact, SpaceX is working closely with NASA in a NASA program to make the Starship a reality and execute its missions as planned. This NASA program is known as Artemis, and Artemis is split into multiple milestones. NASA awarded a $2.9 billion contract to SpaceX in 2021 to provide a Starship vehicle as the human landing system for the mission groundbreaking and sci-fi as the Starship system is, its destiny isn't too far into the future. In fact, the system already has a customer ready to visit space in it, the Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maezawa. Starship is already in its testing phase. On November 18th in South Texas, the system underwent its second test flight. It would end in an explosion. Yes, you heard that right. With the Starship seated atop Super Heavy, the booster was ignited. Spitting fire like the world's largest flamethrower, the system took off. The trial mission aimed to send the Starship most of the way around Earth, from SpaceX's Starbase site in South Texas to a patch of the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. In a significant development for SpaceX, the rocket booster was successfully able to separate from the spacecraft, a major leap from the previous test flight, which also ended in an explosion. About two minutes into its second trial flight, Super Heavy began powering down all but three of its 33 Raptor engines and igniting the six Raptor engines on the Starship before the two vehicles separated from each other. This was the first time this technique would be done successfully with a vehicle of this size. Once separated from the rocket booster, the Starship, powered by its six engines, climbed to a maximum altitude of about 90 miles and a blurry hypersonic top speed of Mach 19 the Super Heavy's journey wouldn't be as smooth. 3.5 minutes after launch, 91 miles over the Gulf of Mexico, the Super Heavy booster exploded. It was the fail-safe SpaceX had in place to ensure the whole test is halted instantly when something goes wrong. Apparently, shortly after Super Heavy reached space, contact was lost with the spacecraft and that was enough reason for the company to trigger the spacecraft's self-destruct failsafe. The test wasn't a success, 
but wasn't entirely a failure either. According to SpaceX, success comes as a result of what the company learns from events such as this. And if there's one thing we know about SpaceX, it's that they do learn. Once the lessons are learned and the Starship's flight perfected, the sky is truly the starting point from there for all stakeholders involved, most urgently for the military. Being able to rapidly deploy cargo across long distances quickly would have notable benefits in the context of the Indo-Pacific, particularly since figures within the U.S. military envision a likely near-term high-end conflict against China in the region. China has promised that it will absorb Taiwan into its territory for historical reasons, while the U.S. has promised it will not let that happen. And both world powers are ready to go to war over their promises. So the applications for the Starship are limitless. It could fulfill SpaceX's dream of making humans a multi-planetary species. It could help NASA explore pockets of space that they once couldn't and it could enable the U.S. military become an unrivaled force in two worlds. The future will no doubt be interesting. A third Starship test is coming up within a month. To wish the Starship the best, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.